Welcome back to the Franco and Friends YouTube channel. My name is Mark. On this channel, I share my experiences fathering a child on the autism spectrum. In today's video, we're going to dive in and we're going to talk about one of my favorite supplements all time. It's a very versatile supplement that comes in multiple forms that is beneficial for sleep, anxiety, constipation, cognition, brain health, and so much more. So stick around. All right, fam, welcome back to the channel. Like I said in the intro, in today's video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite supplements of all time. But before we do that, I have two quick things that I want to talk about. Number one, I'm not a doctor or a medical professional. Nothing I say should be taken as medical or professional advice. All I'm doing is sharing our journey with you. So make sure you do your own research before changing or implementing any of the strategies discussed throughout any of my videos. And then number two, on this channel, we have the agreement, what I like to call the buddy system, right? So we're shaking on it. And that is the agreement is if you like my videos, you feel like you get any value from any of my videos, all I ask is that you subscribe to the channel. That's it. And then you can watch all my videos completely for free. That's it. So if you feel like you don't even have to do it right now, you can wait till the end of the video. And if you feel like you like the video, you got value, all I ask is that you subscribe to the channel. That's it. Okay. It's quick. It's easy. And like I already said, best of all, it is free. All right. Now let's jump into my favorite supplement all time. What supplement am I talking about? And the supplement that I'm talking about is beneficial for so many different things in your brain and your body. It's involved in over 300 different biochemical reactions in the body. And the majority of people are deficient in this one mineral, and that is magnesium. It comes in multiple forms, but in this video, we're going to talk about three different forms specifically. And then I'm going to share with you the way that I use it, not only for my autistic on, but for myself as well. Okay. So form number one, and this is probably the one that I always recommend that people begin with, especially if you're looking to implement this for your autistic child. And that is magnesium glycinate. And the reason that I always choose this one first is because it's probably the most gentle on the stomach. And on top of that is very beneficial for things like sleep and anxiety. And as you know, many autistic children struggle with both of those things. So this can be very, very beneficial for many autistic children. And to be honest, I take it myself. I take it every single night before bed and it helps me to sleep better. And sometimes we also take it before school. So say Franco wakes up and he's in an anxious mood or he just seems like he's off. He's having anxiety. Something's going on. I'll give him some magnesium glycinate and it will help to calm him down. Because the great thing about it is it's not necessarily sedating. It just helps to really, really lower down your anxiety just a little bit, right? It's just a, it's, it's a phenomenal supplement. And on top of that, it is still beneficial for constipation. But like I said, it is much more gentle on the stomach than something like magnesium citrate, which we're going to talk about next. So if your autistic child struggles specifically with constipation, then the form of magnesium that you're going to want to look into is magnesium citrate. Magnesium citrate is a natural laxative. So when you're looking to implement magnesium citrate, I always recommend that you get it in liquid or powder form, especially if you're looking to do this for your autistic child, because what that allows you to do is it allows you to start lower than the recommended dosage and very gradually over time build up to the dosage that is best for your child. Because like I said, it can be really harsh on the stomach. It can upset the stomach and cause a lot of issues. And it can also be used as a flush. It's actually one of the supplements that I use in my immediate relief for constipation protocol. So if you want to learn more about that, go check out the Franco and Friends Autism Academy. The link is below the video. And then lastly, we're going to talk about magnesium L3 in it. Now, this is another great form of magnesium. This particular form is great for cognition and brain health because it crosses the blood-brain barrier. So it goes right into the brain and it's great for cognition. So I take this personally every morning as well. So does my autistic son. So the way that we generally dose these is every morning before school, Franco and myself, we both take magnesium L3 and it, depending on the mood that Franco's in. Like I said before, if he's really anxious or he just seems off, sometimes I'll switch it out and I'll use magnesium glycinate for him. But for myself, I personally take magnesium L3 and it every single morning. And now if Franco is in the middle of a bout where he's constipated or he can't go to the bathroom, something like that, then we will look into using magnesium citrate, but it really depends, right? Sometimes just by using magnesium glycinate at nighttime can help to regulate the bowel movements. So it really depends on where your child is, right? Is your child struggling with constipation? Are they currently struggling with constipation? If so, 
then you might want to try to implement magnesium glycinate and see how that works out because it's more gentle on the stomach than magnesium citrate. But if they're really constipated, they've been constipated for a long period of time, then the odds are you're going to want to look right into magnesium citrate. And again, you want to make sure you're able to get this in liquid or powder form, especially if your child cannot swallow pills or capsules, because that's going to be the easiest way to get the supplement in them. And it also, like I said, allows you to start it at lower than the recommended dosage, because as you know, many of our children are very sensitive to a lot of different things, especially supplements. So starting lower than the recommended dosage does a couple different things. The first thing that it allows you to do is to actually get your child to take the supplement. Because maybe your child is very sensitive to flavors or textures, in which case, if you just give them the recommended dosage right off the start, and it's a powder supplement, the odds are they're probably going to be able to feel the powder in the drink. And it's going to be harder to get them to take that. And on the other side, if they're really sensitive to flavors and you get them a liquid form, the odds are they're probably going to taste the liquid form. So by starting with such a small amount allows you to mask the flavor and then very, very gradually over time, you build up to the dosage that is best for your child. Okay. Now, before we end this video, just a quick video, I want to recap. So we use magnesium glycinate generally before bedtime for anxiety and for sleep, but it is also still beneficial for constipation, not as beneficial as magnesium citrate, but it is not as harsh on the stomach. So if your child is struggling with sleep or anxiety, then you may want to look into implementing magnesium glycinate. Now, if your child is struggling with constipation and they have been struggling with constipation for a prolonged period of time, you may want to look into magnesium citrate because that is going to be very beneficial because like I said, it's actually a natural laxative and that'll help to heal the stomach from the inside out and it will also help to get your child some relief from the constipation rather than using a band-aid like Marilax, which I'll talk more about in another video. But when you're using something like Marilax, you're essentially just putting a band-aid on it. Not to mention all the negative aspects about Marilax. It is very unhealthy. It's dangerous in many different aspects. So I never, ever recommend Marilax. And it's kind of sad that, you know, many times if you're the parent of an autistic child, your child is chronically constipated. We go to the doctor, we tell the doctor, you know, they'll either, they'll tell us a couple different things. The first thing is, which is the most aggravating to be completely honest with you is, you know, this is just part of autism, right? It's just part of autism. Okay, well, let's put it a different way. Even if many autistic children do struggle with constipation. So what does that mean? Our children just have to suffer for the rest of their lives. That's unacceptable to me. It's unacceptable to me. And rather than putting a toxic substance like Marilax into their body, why don't we use a natural mineral as a natural laxative and give them some magnesium citrate, which will also help them to get some relief from the constipation. So we use magnesium glycinate for sleep and anxiety, magnesium citrate for constipation. And then lastly, we use magnesium l three and eight for cognition and brain health. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it in this video. But before I let you go, if all this sounds like a foreign language, it's super confusing, super overwhelming. I totally get it because I was where you are right now when I was first getting started on this journey with autism and biomedical treatments for autism. So if you want to join a community that is rising up together, we're sharing knowledge and information so that we can grow together and help our children thrive and not just survive. I invite you to come check out the Franco and Friends Autism Academy completely for free for seven days. You have nothing to lose but progress. So I hope I see you on the other side. Take care. <music>